it's Sonya Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company. Come on in and welcome to my daily vlog. It's a cleaning around these parts kind of day today. Matt's sister is coming up from North Carolina. We've got visitors and it just feels good to get to some parts of the house that I wanted to clean and scrub. And as you know, we've been in this house for I think like somewhere around maybe five, six weeks at this point and it feels so good. It's, it's coming to life. So today I am working in the kitchen. I'm going to show you something I'm going to do to spruce up something that I've had for a while. While. It's a special object. I'll show you it in just a second. And also, I wanted to show you where I put that really cool dresser that I painted recently. Oh my gosh, all Junk Monkey Paints, I showed you how to do it, guys. Who was around for that tutorial that I did live? And so I went ahead and I put that here. And I think I'm going to find a new mirror for it. This is just the mirror that I've always had. I got from Pier 1 on discount, of course. But anyway, I paired it with that for right now. Everybody say hello to Mr. Piggy. This is the other piece that we did this week, guys. This is the brown gray that we have. It's gorgeous. It's called Smoky Coal. That's what goes so nice with grays. It's a way to pair gray and browns together. So we did this one in a Smoky Coal and put on um, some metallic paint and poly, Sir Pete. And I think it turned out marvelous. See how that the gray, even though it's a brown gray, goes with my brown leather, but also goes with my gray couch, right? Kitty, kitty, how are ya? Did I wake you up? Are you watching TV? So we're in the kitchen. Matt is cooking. What are you making tonight, Matt? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm, I'm eyeballing up the food. Matt is prepping Probably the sides, some, making burgers. Uh, cucumber salad. Oh, that sounds really good. Cucumber salad does. Yes, please. So Matt's sister's coming in. She's got two little ones. So Matt's already been out buying little goodies. We're going to blow bubbles later. later. We're going to have some sidewalk chalk. He, Matt was even shopping in the toy section. How did that feel? I uh, shop weird. <laughs> he had very, fun without me in the very, toy very section. Weird. All right, so well, Matt is prepping, and let me tell you, that is his thing. Matt is a trained chef, so I know supper is gonna be so good tonight. So I'm gonna continue to clean and work on stuff. And one of the pieces that it's time for me to monkey shine is this spice cabinet. Now this one's a special one. This was a special one. Who made this one, Matt? My mom. Your mom. So go figure. Matt's mom was a crafty woman and he marries a crafty lady. She was a weaver, she was a woodworker, she was a she was a steel steel mill worker. She just makes steel on the floor. She just, you know, she was a woman who worked with her hands. Um, so when we actually moved into the house, the original house that we lived in that Matt grew up in, this was one of the pieces that was left behind. And guys, you know, I can appreciate the beauty for what it is. We do not want to paint it. We want to preserve it and love on it, right? You guys see that on there? So there's the sunset up there, the rooster, and then the uh, fence post down here. And she made this by hand. And she actually used to sell stuff too, right? Well, that one was for sale, never sold. Well, so lucky us, we get to it. keep it. So it has her initials, right? $30. And she sold it at that time. She tried to sell it. For thirty dollars. So how well, cool that, is that? That was part of what we lived on, is what she packed, right? Yep. Like baskets that she made. Well, yes. When we moved in, there was so much, so much basket weaving material yeah. well, that, um, was, that was left in the garage. Um, yeah. The um, the big ones that she used to make was called garlic baskets. Yeah. And, of course, egg baskets. Nice, and so, we have a couple of those that right. we're able to keep too. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, this is obviously part of our new house as well, but guys, I'm not gonna paint this. I'm gonna appreciate it. How old do you think this is even, Matt? When would your mom to make uh, this? Probably 80, I'd say 83 to 85. 83 to 85. So yeah. we're gonna give this hungry, thirsty wood some monkey shine today. We're gonna shine her up, we're gonna polish her, make her look like a superstar. And actually, when we first use this, I would use it as a spice cabinet because I think that's what it was intended for. It is. But we have a lot of spices. Matt's a chef. He likes to cook. And unless you're using like the little tiny spices, it's hard to like fit everything in here, right? So now what I like to do is actually, believe it or not, guys, I, it smells really good. Wood is poor. So this thing in itself smells so amazing. But I actually started storing all my wax scents in here for like my tart warmers. Mm, this one's lemon. This one's mandarin toffee treat. Rainy spring day. Of course, my junk monkey candle that there might only be like, I don't know, three left on the planet right now. Go to junkmonkeypaint.com. See that in the candle section. Then you'll know what my, what my house smells like. Uh, and it's yummy. And this is cozy chai right here. Cozy chai. 
So let's go ahead and clean this piece up, monkey shine it, and just give it a renewed sense of life. So guys, I went to the garage and I have my wax brush. I have my all natural beeswax oil finish. Monkey shine. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wood is gonna love it. You can hear Matt, Matt's making his cucumber salad in the background. And you're also gonna need a, a, just a nice tightly woven um, cloth so that you don't get woolies in your wax, right? That picks no woolies. Is, no woolies. And it's also tight enough so that once you put your wax on, you're gonna have to buff it off. So you're gonna want something that's tightly woven enough to be able to pick it back off so that your piece is not left feeling wet, right? It should be nice, buttery, dry, smooth feeling. So straight in to the wax we go. We're gonna go ahead and get a brush loaded on. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that already? Like where that is right there? Oh, she's so beautiful. All right, you might actually be able to see the rooster when I'm done with her. You might even be able to see it. Can you guys see the difference right there? Right there where you can see the top and the bottom is not done just yet. So we're nourishing this wood, we're gonna protect it, we're gonna keep this piece around for a long time to come. good you go in circles because that way you're really like hitting all the wood pores right so get it in there good all right in circles nice. so what I like to do is put mine on first you see how rich that wood looks now let's go ahead and put this on first and then let it continue to saturate in and then I'll just go around and wipe off but I'm gonna give it a moment to really suck in if this piece could talk, it would be saying, thank you so much, Sonia. Wouldn't it, Matt? Mm-hmm. Uh, she's so beautiful. I love it so much. All right, let's do the other side over here. Guys, it is beautiful out there. It's day two of summer. And I have to tell you, I think Mother Nature got the memo. You see it right there? I'm not done, we're gonna do that part. I think Mother Nature, can you hear the birds outside? Matt took the dogs for a walk today. They really enjoyed that. It's nice to have the windows open to do some cleaning today. It's been wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and get the top. If I have anything that I don't have painted in my house, it's really good to just put monkey shine on it because it just, the, the wood just laps it up. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And when you keep your wood nice and, um, you know, nourished like this, it's gonna prevent like it drying out and cracking and just falling apart, right? Okay, that is done. Now we're gonna go in with a rag. And honestly, same sort of thing. I just go ahead and put my hand underneath it. And then now we start round in circles. And now what we're gonna do is buff off that. Oh boy, guys. Let me see if I can zoom you in here. Do you see how nice that wood looks right there now? If you have any old pieces, this is a just a nice thing to do around your house. Any old antique pieces that you know you're not going to be painting, just using it for that. You see the rooster now? Did it come a little bit clearer there? Let's see if we can hold it up. Let me see. If, oh, there you go. You can see it now, right? The rooster. So yeah, she would she be in would the garage. She would sketch it out. She would sketch it out, and then she would work it in. Go to her craft shows. Yeah. Very nice. Your mom also did pottery, right? <laughs> she what did, didn't she do? Yeah, is that what you were gonna say? That's what that she, sounds like. She was an author. She was a creative. Build her own home. Creative soul. Um, you name it, she did it, right? She did everything. Man, if your mom was around today, we'd have so much fun. You'd never see us. That might be a good thing. <laughs> Are you saying you want to get rid of me, Matt? I never said that. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's funny because there was spices in here. Mm -hmm. It does smell like cinnamon, mm -hmm. like cinnamon sticks. 
And uh, now that I'm I'm putting in tart warmers and using this for just like a tart warming home, a place for it to find everything, it just smells so wonderful. It smells like spices. And you got to figure it's 35, almost 40 years old of spices, you know? Yep, it's, it is amazing. Love it. And there we go. She is done. Beautiful. So she is back up on the windowsill looking absolutely marvelous. She's perfect. We love her and we're going to leave her just like that. This thing smells so good. It's giving off such good vibes in the kitchen. We love it. Found this candle as well recently. You can see for $3.50 and this one is hot cinnamon roll. I started burning it and it smells so good. A couple other finds recently. No, I didn't grow this lettuce. I wish I could grow lettuce. Um, a couple other finds that I found recently. If you're with me on my Walmart travels, I got two of these orchids right here and I got them for like so cheap. I think of like $4.50 if I remember correctly. They're perfect. So I put those right there in the window. These are my Dollar Tree bowls. I love them so much and they're perfect for serving up some sides and stuff like that. They are a dollar right now. You'll find them at the Dollar Tree. So that worked out really nice. And the last thing I'll show you today is my awesome neighbor over there. Look, they asked if we might want these old style shutters. We love them. Do you see them right here? Let's see here. Oh, Matt just got a light for my rooster. I can't wait to light him up. I'll have to go see if it fits right now. Mr. Rooster, we're gonna have to do surgery in just like five minutes. Give me a second. I'm gonna so... put it in his bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We are so goofy. All right, let me go ahead. Let's see if we can light up the rooster, guys, real quick. All right, do you think you got the right size? I got the only size. I find the bulb section is so confusing. Oh, Matt, I don't know. Really? Oh, no, those are... These are big ones. Uh-oh. Uh, that ain't gonna fit. All right, I'm sizing... That's yes. a little bit too big of a suppository. <laughs> don't be offended, but I am looking at your tail feathers right now, and this is gonna be too big of a base. You're gonna thank me later when I go back to Walmart <laughs> with my receipt and find a smaller base. You guys know those little tiny skinny ones? Um, that That's actually what this rooster needs today. So let's go ahead, put these back in the box. Well, we might need them for the uh, yeah. hallway. All right. Rest assured, I'll be back later. Guys, thanks for subscribing to my daily vlog. If you haven't already done so, I would love it if you would do it. It allows me to continue to make daily content for you guys. Also, give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. What's your favorite tart warmer scent? Or do you even like them? Maybe they give you headaches, I don't know. Do you go to the sweet side? Do you go to the fresh side, the clean, the airy, the crisp? Tell me what you think below. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow, bye.